to the Graceful Tangle YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be sharing another day in my life video with you guys. I know y'all enjoy watching these and I love creating them. So yeah, let's just go ahead and do it today. Um, today is March 14th, 2021. I've got a few things planned. It's a Sunday, so that means it is the last day before another big school week starts. So I'll be preparing for that a little bit. Um, it's Scrappy Sunday, so I am hoping I have some time today to work on my Scrappy projects, but we will see. Um, I'm going to be finishing up a pair of socks for my sister's birthday tomorrow. It is the day of the time change, so we spring ahead is the analogy that we use down in the south, and yeah, I'm not excited about it. We lost an hour of sleep, but really... I didn't because I woke up an hour later than I would have. So, super annoying, but it is what it is. I'm hoping that I can just overcome that quickly this week and not sleep in every day because that would just not be practical at all. Um, we have church, and then today is also um, Pi Day, 3.14, March 14th. So, I am definitely going to be making some sort of, I think, cold pie maybe so i'll share that with y'all too but first let's go ahead and finish all of this and get ready for church okay so i am now dressed and ready for church which is great now i want to take a minute and show you a couple of things that i am planning on working on today Alrighty, so before I show you what I am planning on working on today, I just want to go ahead and preface this video with saying that this is a day in the life video. So it's not as um, filtered. It's going to be a little bit noisier. The shower just turned on. I don't know if you heard that. Um, but yeah, you're just going to hear a little bit more background noise. My window is actually open right now because it is absolutely beautiful outside. So just kind of be aware of that. Um, I tried to min minimize the noise as much as possible, but that's kind of the opportunity that I have to be, um, I guess even more like real life with you guys in these videos. So anyways, the biggest thing that I am trying to get done today is a pair of socks for my sister's birthday tomorrow. Obviously I am cutting it down to the wire with these socks and I know that and I'm not surprised at myself. Um, it tends to happen a lot more than I would like, but it is what it is. Um, these socks took me a long time to really decide on and get perfect just how I wanted. But this is my, um, second sock design and I am so excited about them. I did a tester call for my first sock, um, pattern yesterday. So I'm going to be choosing testers and getting all that situated a little today as well, but Anyway, I have the first sock complete. This is what it looks like. Um, I used Knit Picks um, Stroll Fingering in the colorway Ash for the heels, toe, the heel, toe, and cuff. Um, and then the middle section here is Knit Picks Felici. And I believe the colorway is Carrot Cake, but I think I can figure that out for sure. Yes. Um, yeah, the colorway is carrot cake. So, I'm really excited about these socks. They're going so well. I'm not going to reveal the name just yet, but it's absolutely perfect, and I am just so excited about this. So, I have the first one done. Um, I am working on the second. I'm hoping to completely finish, um, the leg and get going on the foot before we have to leave for church. And I'm pretty much ready for church, which is fabulous. I, you know, gotta eat breakfast, but other than that... We're good. Um, and I just have, I have to finish this pink stripe and then do the white stripe and green stripe. And then I'll place the on for the afterthought heel. Um, and then next up will be the foot. So they're going really well. I'm absolutely loving everything about these socks. Um, and I'm super excited to share more with it, more about them with you guys in the future when the design is done and all of that jazz. But until then, I'm going to knit for a little bit on these socks, um, and yeah, and that's about it.
so I am doing a great job with this little day in the life of vlog. It's been a little bit since I chatted, gave you a little update, but we got back from church and I just finished recording the podcast episode for this week, episode 44, which is super awesome. I am now about to clean up the aftermath. Um, yeah, it's really not that bad. I tried really hard to, you know, put projects to one side after I talked about them but you know how it is. You get excited and then you just make a mess. It's just part of it. So I'm about to clean all this up. And then if it's not all the time for lunch, I will go ahead and get started with my next task. So let's go ahead and do a bit of cleaning. <music> not so bad i did a little cleaning that i needed to do and it is not time for lunch yet which is great so i am going to get started on the next thing i need to do which i need to figure out what the next thing i need to do is i think i'm actually going to work some more on these socks because like i said they absolutely have to be done um today like hopefully i'm aiming for like by four ish this evening that is really what i would love to have happen so i'm on the last color stripe of the leg right now so i'm going to finish this up um and get the waistband for the afterthought heel placed and yeah then we will reevaluate for there so let's get knitting Okay, so it is a little bit later in the day now. It is about 1.20. Um, I have coffee, which is always awesome. Um, and I did meet my goal of getting to the heel setup um, of the sock before lunch, which is great. And it's going to be my focus for the next little while until, um, until it's done, honestly. I have some editing and stuff like that to do later today but to be frank that can be done you know later tonight and so I'm not um like before bed so I'm not too I mean you know not obviously right before bed but my point is I want to get these done and get pictures of them outside before I give them to Emily and Laura and the only time I'm gonna have to do that is this evening before it gets dark so I'm gonna try to get them done as soon as possible I did come across a little um, glitch with the yarn only because I was trying to see if I could get by with just one skein of the um, Felici for this entire pair of socks. And I think I can. 
Um, the only issue is for this sock, so I did the, um, white, the orange, the white, the pink, the white, the green, and then the heel, and then I went into the white, you know, that entire VP again, and then I did the white heel. And that's what's kind of messing me up, because I have a, a white section missing, basically. Um, not a big deal. It really isn't. And I have, I think, two more skeins. Yeah, two more skeins of this yarn, so it's... Not a big deal at all. My window is open, so I apologize for any background noises you may hear. Um, anyway, so I think I'm going to use this little ball and see how much I can get out of it. And if I don't have the full, you know, VP of the white, which I'm not sure I do. If I don't, then I will just join another skein and it'll be perfectly fine. So totally okay. Um, it just can be a little bit tricky with soft striping yarn to really make the colors look exactly how you want them to. So, you just gotta be aware of that, I guess. But, anyway, so that is going to be my focus for right now. Um, today, like I mentioned earlier, is also, um, International Pie Day, 3.14, which is pretty fun. So, I'm going to be making a pie later just, you know, for that reason. Um, and I'm trying to figure out what kind. I'm definitely going to do a no-bake. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm not entirely sure yet. So I'm going to be knitting and thinking thinking about that too. So that's my plan and I will check in with y'all a little bit later. <laughs> Okay, so it is now 2.50. Um, I have made the pie for tonight. It's something that I haven't tried before, but I think it's going to be good. The filling was delicious. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be good. But anyway, I filmed a couple of clips of that, so I'll insert the process of that before this. But anyways, I got to um, figure out the white yarn situation was not near as complicated as I made it sound. Um, and now I am on track with the orange color of the foot. So I just have this little cake to work through. Um, and then once this is gone, that means that the foot is complete. Um, and then I will move on to the toe and the heel, which is super duper exciting. So, um, like I said, it's about 2.50. So I don't know if I'll be done with these in an hour. We'll see. It might be a little bit after that. If it is, it's actually totally okay because it's going to get dark a little bit later um, than it has been because the time changed today. So, I'm going to go outside, go on a little walk while I work on this, and get some fresh air, and then I will meet you up back here later. Okay, so a lot of time has passed again, which is not very surprising. I'm still getting the hang of kind of vlogging like you know, my entire day. Um, anyway, it is 5.17. I was definitely hoping to be done with the socks before now, but it's okay. It's not going to get dark until, I don't know, after 6. Um, actually, I don't know what time it's going to get dark for real, but 
it's okay. I want to, I want to be completely done with these by six though. That is my new goal. I think it's achievable. I am at the toe, which is super exciting. I thought I lost a stitch. It just came unknitted. It's okay. Um, anyway, I'm at the toe. Super exciting. Can't wait to finish these. Um, and then I will just have the heel left. So I am going to knit this toe. And there was a couple more things that I want to show y'all um, before I sign off for the day. So I'm going to knit the toe, knit the heel, get pictures, <laughs> and then I will check in with y'all after that. <laughs> to check back in for the last time tonight um, and kind of sign off and talk to you guys about a few more things before that. So, first off, the socks are complete. Oh my goodness, I love them so much. They are absolutely perfect for Emily. She's going to love them. Um, yeah, really, really excited about these. I'm so happy that I was able to get them done. I'm going to um, spray them a little bit with water and then they will just stay on these blockers overnight and then they'll be blocked when I wake up in the morning, which will be perfect. Tomorrow is, is her birthday, as I've said before, so, you know, in a perfect world, I would not have gotten them done this close, um, but I'm really happy they're done nonetheless and she's going to love them. So, one more time. Um, this is Knit Pick Stroll in the colorway Ash for the heel, toe, and cuff. And then the self-striping yarn is Bleachy in the Carrot Cake colorway. So I'm going to link both of those things down in the description box below if you want to check those out. Um, and I'll also link these blockers too if you are um, interested at all. And then they are the size medium actually for this pair of socks. So yeah, really excited about these socks really happy they're done. I'll be sharing more about the name and the design and more, um, just more about them in the future for sure. So stay tuned for that. Super, super stoked about this design. Okay. And then the, one of the last things that I'm going to do today is devotion. So I wanted to share with you guys what I do, um, daily, just because it is really the most important thing that I do every day. And I firmly believe that um, even if you aren't a Christian, that you take some time every day just to kind of evaluate and take some time for yourself, even if it's just, you know, five minutes or less, just to be grateful and um, just kind of either start your day off right, if that works for you, or end your day off right, if that works for you, or anywhere in between. I think it's really important. So, I do three things. Um, first off, the thing that I have really been doing for the longest, um, I've been consistent about taking some time to spend in the Word, um, really a year-ish. 
Um, it's something that, you know, I've known was important in my entire life, but that I didn't really put that much time into, um, at least not on a normal or consistent basis. Um, but that's something that I've been really working on this past year, and I'm so, so glad I have. I have grown in so many ways, and I think that is really, um, because of the air conditioner just cut off, cut on. Hmm. Let me see if that is too loud. Okay, I think it was a little bit too loud, so I shut my window, which, you know, honestly, my window should be shut if the air conditioner is on, so that needed to happen anyway. As I was saying, I think it's really important to spend some time every day just evaluating that day um, for yourself. Just to lift yourself up and continue to be the best version of you that you can possibly be. So, three things that I do. First off is a gratitude journal. So, this is super simple. I write down ten things that I am just grateful for, specifically on that day, every day. Um, it can be right when I wake up in the morning, after lunch, or right before I go to sleep. Um, anytime. For a while, I was doing it as soon as I woke up, um, and I think that that was really beneficial, but I've tried to kind of change my routine up a little bit recently, and lately I've been either doing it before I go to bed or before, like, right after lunch. Um, the right after lunch thing doesn't work super well because a lot of, or a few days of the week, I am not here at that time, so... Um, before bed has, what has been happening most often recently, um, and it's been really good. It's been a way for me to kind of, um, take note of what I did that day and what was good, what was not good, what was something that I can improve on the next day, etc. So, that's the first thing that I do. Secondly is a devotional that I have talked, um, about on the last couple of podcast episodes, and this is one specifically for Lent because we are in the season of Lent right now. Um, I really just try to go through a devotional as, like, the third thing that I do. Sometimes it is, you know, along the lines of this, something that's organized and that you read a certain part of every day. Um, sometimes it's more of a study, and then sometimes it's just reading a book from the Bible and reading a chapter every day, um, and really soaking it in, taking notes, um, and really getting it all in me. And then, last but not least is two chapters roughly um a day of the actual bible um so my family is working on reading the bible in two years chronologically um i'm not gonna lie this is not easy um it's not easy at all the uh, the i love the new testament i find the new testament really encouraging really beneficial um for good reasons but the Old Testament is also really beneficial, and it is there for a reason. Um, the only thing that makes this kind of difficult is that the Old Testament is definitely the majority of the Bible. And so, for like the first full year, you're focusing on the Old Testament. Um, which is great. It just, you know, it was really difficult to be stuck in Job <laughs> for a really long time. Job is a very depressing chapter. Um... But anyway, about two chapters a day is what I read from that. And that is just kind of my little um, routine. You know, I don't want to share that with you just to come across as, um, I don't know, oblivious maybe to other things. I just want to encourage you in every way that I can. And I feel that, um, you know, through seeing other people walk with the Lord, I think that growing Christians can help as well. At least that's, that's what helps me. So, um, if you are not very familiar with the Bible, one of my favorite, um, one of the books, I guess, that I would recommend reading is a book from the New Testament. So, Matthew would be a really great, um, option, or Luke. That way you will, um, all four Gospels cover the full life of Jesus. So, I really recommend those for, um, you know, if you really just want to learn more about Jesus. I also love Ephesians. Um, first, second, and third John are all super, super short, but so powerful. So, if you want some more insight, I would love, love, love to have a further discussion about that in the comments below. So, be sure to do that um, if you so desire. Again, I always want to be encouraging and show y'all who I really am, you know, as much as I possibly can. So, yes. <laughs> 
I hope that you have enjoyed this day in the life video. I'm going to insert a few pictures after this of the pie that I made that we will enjoy tonight after dinner. Um, and a couple of pictures of the socks as well. So I hope that you enjoyed this day in the life video. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more videos like this. I am still getting the hang of editing editing videos like this. It's a lot different than videos that I usually do. There's a whole bunch of clips and you gotta put them all together and make it look good and it can be a little bit tricky so bear with me. Um, but definitely let me know if this is something that you want to see more of because I always want to provide content that you guys enjoy watching. So with that, thank you so very much for watching and I will catch you all next time with Hopefully, maybe a little bit more knitting content. I kind of focused on one project today, but there was a good reason behind that, and it was 100% worth it. Maybe I'll have some time late tonight to work on something else. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you all next time. Bye.